Well, my name is Chuck Mazzarella, and I'm the author of The Lion Shares. I don't know how well you can see that with the reflection. There we go, The Lion Shares, collection of short stories written by me. In The Lion Shares, there are 39 short stories and there are eight poems. I've really never put much emphasis on the poems. Tonight, I'm going to read all of them on this video. Um, so, I hope you enjoy them. There may be more poems in the next book that is coming out, maybe next year. Um, like I said, it's uh, not an emphasis for me. Um, I have some haikus. I haven't, I don't know, I haven't looked into publishing them yet. Uh, obviously, you need a lot of those. So maybe I'll throw in some of those as well. But uh, there are eight poems, and here's the first one. Or maybe I'll save that one for the end. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Horizons. Horizons. Stark contrasts exist, but seem within reach. Coarse grains jut toward a perfect sky. Suns set where waves make their home. Depth changes light oceans into darker seas. Buildings stretch to hug the wind. Trees dream of joining birds in flight while life dreams of what may be found. The air must be clear to truly see what is there. A marked division forms an apparent mystery. U-N-I-T-Y. Horizons. <clears throat> Sonnet 21. Litany of the gods, this poor beggar, his life was one folly after another. Indecision, compromise, the vile cruelties of fate. Never did one deserve a second chance as the one you see before thee. Yet untethered he trod the road beneath him, slowing only to illness and age. Few coins was he granted, but spent them miserly, and then and they a while endured. Strength flows from his very breath. What drives him so, we will never know, but a lesson from him we can learn. No matter the burden that is heaped upon our backs, persevere we must and persevere we shall. <clears throat> Fears discarded. Fear not the unknown, welcome it as an, un wel welcome it as an expected gift, having some idea of what it may be. Oh, the possibilities. Waste not your energy on fear. Instead, travel upon the likely trails and forget not to breathe. <clears throat> Languish not within despair, for no man knows when life's journey will end. With faith as your guide and judgment keen, let happiness prevail. Undulations. Ocean waves peacefully tossing me, I lose myself to become one with the earth. Exhaled, exhaled smoke dancing on the cool night wind. Abstract tones from a jazz piano engulf my ears to further escape, at least for a while. Snowflakes being carried by the crisp breath of winter. Man-made scratches trying to duplicate nature, whether on paper or in the ancient sand, as I write the name of the one I love. Fleeting, though here for a while, all can reside but for a short time in this place, yet maybe their paths will undulate forever, long after I am gone. <clears throat> Lunar Wonder Lunar Wonder O oh, moon with ties to the sea, if you could speak, what story would you tell? Not the stars, they only mock us. Nightly you see our secret deeds, faces forlorn as we gaze upon thee. Your borrowed light shines to brighten the night, 
Guidance and inspiration are your gifts. Some gaze in wonder while others close the drapes to end another day. We do not realize fate has decided the sum of our lives. Blind are we to the final outcome. But most see clearly what paths are before them. Even if shown the way, we are apt to stray, for that is our nature. Taking the time. Time is but a fleeting glimmer within the eye of a winking bird. It flies with such speed, if the spender takes no notice, all may seem for naught. Passers-by will gaze upon that grave and utter, What a wasted life you led! Nothing you accomplished, nothing you leave behind. It was as though you were never here. But the one that takes the time, of them it will be said, you have touched my very soul. My heart shall seem to break, save for my bony chest plate to contain and still it. Many a life you have touched, and always to others your thoughts were a flight. Care, cared not, it seemed, for the views of those in power, and neither by them were you corrupted. It is my wish, my solemn hope, that a single footprint of thine remain unscathed somewhere for others to notice. Remain it there for all time, steadily though the waters flow to wash away all that we have made. Tackling the big questions. How did we get to be? Crawled you from the oceans? or on firmer land did thee walk, it matters not. For we are but seeds awaiting the farmer's hand. Place us in the ground, for we rely on sun, teardrops from heaven to sustain us, as we gain sustenance from the earth. Pray that you are a tree or some wildflower bee. Live your life for the many passings of years. Be not a fruit to be harvested or consumed uncaringly by the hand of a vicious and soulless wretch, eager to throw away the pit. And now the last poem, I wrote this to try to describe how the stories, most of the stories in this book came to be. The Mystery of Written Word From deep slumber does this pen arise, But cause the motion giver to be evermore a blither, For sleep does not, for sleep does at times but whisper my name, Though I answer not its call. Important more for me is this, that the words upon which you now gaze create themselves from brain to ink and allow my mind for now a chance to rest. Words flow within my head as waves upon uncharted shores. Amazed am I at the result, though the author of them I am not. Inspired by God or someone beyond the grave, I take the credit nonetheless. Those were the eight poems that I have contained within the lion shares. And um, there, again, may be more poems in the upcoming book that may be coming out the end of this year or sometime next year. It all depends on when I get more stories written. Um, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the poems. And uh, please, um, Take at the time to read them yourself and take the time to look online and on Amazon or go on Facebook or Wix, W-I-X, you'll see the, the um, sites if you Google the lion shares. Uh, take a yeah, look, look it up and I uh, hope you take some time to read the stories for yourself. Thank you very much for your time and uh, I hope you enjoy. Take care. Hi, my name is Charles Mazzarella and I am the author of the lion shares. This is a one of a few videos or many videos 
in a series where I, the author of The Lion Shares, read the story to you. Um, I felt it was important to get these stories on video uh, to better uh, promote my book um, and also a better way to share the stories uh, if you've never heard of the book before or read it or anything as it's not available in any stores except for Amazon. It is available at Amazon and uh, here is um, the WIX, the Wix site that I designed. The Lion Shares LOA Maz Writer dot WIX dot com slash the Lion Shares. So just Google the Lion Shares and uh, you'll see it. Okay, tonight's story is called This Schizophrenic's World A Closer Look. I wanted, this is a story where I wanted to write as creatively as I could. The disclaimer on this story is that it uh, is not about anyone. It's not to put anyone down. It's not an insult to anyone that has schizophrenia. It, uh, because I was a mental health specialist and, uh, uh, you know, I'm sensitive to mental health issues. And I actually encourage people to talk about how they feel because in a way I feel uh, anyone can have a mental health issue just like anyone could have a physical health issue. So disclaimer over, this is going to get a little wild, this picture, or I should say, yeah, this picture, this story is going to get a little wild. Um, and uh, I may have a little bit of a difficulty getting through it because it's a little bit strange, but here it is. This schizophrenic's world, a closer look. It's in journal form, basically. Okay, here we go. This schizophrenic's world, a closer look. June 5 or June 5th, 1994. Despite what experts and the books say, I have been psychotic since birth. To clarify, the books don't actually say anything. It is, as you are probably aware, a figure of speech. I write this to explain my thoughts and to help people like myself to understand better. To people without schizophrenia, you may become confused when my clarity dissipates. I just wanted to warn you. First, let me tell you what I see and experience every day. Oops! I heard that, and you were right. My name is Steve Evans, and I am 29 years old, I think. At least that is what the voices tell me. My little joke. I grew up near the Vermouth River in Ceylon, New York. Mostly, people would fish on the river, but there was a time when paddle boats and small tugs would travel toward Hudson Bay and eventually to the Atlantic. All my life, I have heard noises, then music, and sometimes words and voices in my head. I've heard noises. All, all my life I have heard noises, then music, and sometimes words and voices in my head. In school, I was put in the class for retarded kids, though I am smart, because I was always talking to myself. I didn't mind, because I was able to help the teacher and protect the other students. I started taking medicine when I was seven years old. It was some type of drops that were absorbed under my tongue. I would hold the meds in my mouth and watch the seconds on the kitchen clock slowly tick away. The stuff tasted sweet and bitter at the same time. I would take it at night and open the fridge because it had to be cold and my dog would usually join me looking for some free handout. I told him to get a job and he said he was too old. I said, you are two years younger than me, Snoopy. He retorted, multiply that by seven. I'm 35, almost 42. Yes, I can still work, but I was never at any school. He won that argument. I guess, but he was a good dog anyway, and we walked all over town. When I would walk, I would see an older girl like me walk her little basset hound. They did not move very fast because basset hounds are not built for speed, but for lounging around. They are good at that. Maybe basset hounds have some cat blood. 
my cat now that's all she does is lie around but she but she does do some tricks like stand on her hind legs and longingly peer out the window i always wonder what she is looking for is she on guard duty i will have to ask her someday and let you know oh right the girl she always has a had a headset and would listen to tapes or the local radio stations she was not that shatty always in a hurry to walk her dog and go home i still see her walking but without the dog she may still have the headset the medicine dampens the voices some days i do not hear them now i take a shot once a month i've always been good at remembering to take my meds the shot allows me not to have to worry about remembering I have a lot of clear days like today and as i can see already from what i've written i am tangential on some other path some sometimes i hope you don't mind i am employed by a big chain video store and also work behind the counter at a cineplex where 26 movies can be shown at the same time back when i was growing up a lot of the smaller towns had a movie theater with only one screen and like microbes in a petri dish buildings were divided or the theaters added on and there were four screens now a lot of cities have theaters with five to thirty screens i have never been to the really big malls the mall of america or a metropolis like dallas or fort worth which may have up to 50 screens i am waiting for the day when i can call someplace and order any movie onto my tv I like the movies as you can see, but sometimes I have to remember sometimes I have to remember that what I see is not real. I have vivid dreams, usually only at night. If I if a day or two goes by and I am unable to take my meds or my backup supply runs out, I get scared and then have trouble telling what is real from the fake stuff. When I am sick or stressed out, I see spots, people that are not there old my old dog stairs and cubes the cubes are of different colors and sizes the hallucinations as the doc calls them that i enjoy the hallucinations as the doc calls them that i enjoy the most are the ones where i smell things that others do not smell and my weather visions i see snowflakes or hear thunder on a clear day i have never seen lightning when it wasn't there but i'm hoping to the most popular smell I have when they don't exist is the smell of spaghetti sauce. July 14, 1994. It has been a few, few days since I've written. Just my luck. The clinic was closed yesterday, and I have to wait until the 19th to get my shot, my monthly shot. I may have enough meds to get me through. The voices are louder today and it is tough to concentrate on the word processor. I think my spell checker is broke too. I know some people that hang out at the soup kitchen that said when off their meds, the voices tell them to hurt themselves or others. I do not want voices in my head that tell me, that, that yell at me or tell me bad stuff like that. I am listening to a tune, but am not near the radio. You've lost that loving feeling it's easy to me it's easy to love me because i am so beautiful it's i changed the lyrics slightly i met this odd woman at work today who asked me for a movie that our store doesn't have she was carrying a little poodle with her that some time that someone dyed pink it was ugly we told her that she could call in the future to save herself a trip or if the movie was in we would hold it for two hours until she arrived however she would have to leave the dog home or in the car the next time as she explained to my manager how precious her dog is to her i heard it talk to me in a squeaky voice the dog complained that it had it was held too much not allowed to run around as much as it would like and she and said she smells of cheap perfume I had to laugh and quickly turned on the TV monitor so as to appear to be laughing at the movie. Hold on, I hear the phone. Those telemarketer calls are annoying. I mess with them even when I don't hear voices. Would you like to buy some additional insurance for your home? No, I answer. I usually do not live here, and I do not own this place, 
and Lorex, the prince of Zeller Island, said it is a bad day to be investing. That usually ends the call quickly. I'm tired now. We'll write more soon. June 17th, 20,904. Saw snowflakes on my way to work this morning. Had to put the heat on because I was cold. Bank temp read 73 degrees Fahrenheit. I still had a few pills left and I'm a little nervous. Will be, will be till the 19th. We'll write more after work. Can see I am a smudge frazzled now. Same day, 7.23 p.m. Work was great. A lady and her yellow pony tipped me $5 for empty, emptying her swimming pool and for finding a puppy, uh, finding a happy, shiny movie for her nacho encrusted kitty. Yes, I'll write about that. Give me a minute. I forget, to, I forget to add, I am going to work more hours at the theater, making and serving the poppy corn and dusting snowflakes off the seats when prisoners want to watch a happy, sad, exciting movie. The doctor said I could come in early tomorrow to get a shot at the hospital. Great! Zeph 26. I am on the planet Zulon 5, where it is my top, top secret mission to infiltrate a rival mining consortium. They will still suspect me because I, they will little suspect me because I speak their language. I, Agar Vix, general in the service of King Lorex, was trained as a boy in several native languages and several from other worlds. I have an aptitude for language. Mere mortals, they think that they can outwit me, not very likely. Impenetrable, true, impenetrable to microwaves, I can I eat kryptonite for breakfast. Let them sling their mightiest battle-hardened veteran my way. Their attempt will be their dismay. I will lead the light brigade on the morning of the 29th, as soon as the moons of Zelor set to start the season of fall. The first rays of light on the glorious on that glorious day will fall on my troops as we bravely face our foes. History will never forget the actions of the fierce battles that will ensue. Alas, I must be off. A golden chariot awaits to whisk me toward my battle vehicle. I am humbled by the sight of my loyal troops as they await my command. I am confident in the outcome of our battle and pray no soul is lost. With us with, wish us unrivaled success, for we fight for the citizens of Zelor. Hail King Lorex. July 27th, 4971. Ah, how interesting it is to read about that last conflict in preparations for another. This annoying communication device keeps on ringing. I ignore it as I study the plans for our next attack. My brave and loyal at fighters attacked Zulon 5 and have to finish the job today. What a view of the burning embers of that decimated planet. Following protocol, the citizens of the planets were the following protocol, the citizens of the planet were evacuated before our arrival. This is a military thing. No citizens need to be hurt. With an entire planet as my battlefield, I feel like the king of the galaxy, but I am so lightheaded now. I must renew my strength by the three means. The most important of these comes from an elixir. Entry number 429 in the Royal Archives of the Volorian Prince, Wonan III. Upon this glorious and refreshing spring day, it is my great privilege to bestow on the emissary of King Lorex himself, Sir Agarvix, the shield of Valoria. This is given to irreparable, this is given in irreparable gratitude for helping defend the treasured people of this fine planet by fighting off the Zulonians rampagers of that decrepit star system. The frisky fishes swim in honor of this great accomplishment. Let us adjourn to the exquisite feast that has been prepared. 
People of Valoria, celebrate with us in your own homes, or come to the town square nearest you where refreshments may be had by all. Recorded by the royal scribe and court historian Solana. June 20th, 1994. I am feeling much better. The doctor came to my home when I would not answer the phone. He said I was resting quietly in my recliner with a ray gun and sword bought at a toy store. He and I looked, ex he said I looked exhausted. I was dehydrated and malnourished. He took me semi-conscious to the clinic and then drove me home. I had plenty of groceries, so he made me a sandwich with a glass of juice, sat with me for a while, then had to return to work. What a guy. Apparently, I took some other medication instead of my regular backup pills and had a few drinks. The doc said he would have my case manager work with me to better label my meds and separate those special ones from my other meds. He said I will have to make signs too so I know where to go or who to call when I become frazzled again. The one thing I forget I forgot the one thing I forgot to mention is that there are video cameras cameras throughout my house. I put them there because I get paranoid sometimes. I will be able to listen to and watch what I was doing for the last three days. However, because I remember a few fragments, I do not think what I will see will be as exciting as what I lived in the mind in my mind while I was Agar Vix, hero in the realm of King Lorex. Ruler of, ruler of Zelor and friend to the Valorians. And that was this Schizophrenics World A Closer Look. So like I said, it was it went it became very creative, I guess you could say. It was I was gonna say it went off the rails, but anyway, it uh yeah, it was um out of the box. I really tried to uh, write something way out there. Um, maybe that's not crazy enough. I'm not sure. Maybe sometime I'll try to uh, write something even more odd, but I hope that it was clear that he went from sanity to schizophrenia to like a, an outburst, whatever it would be, a, a, a delusional state to, you know, coming back to reality again. Thank you again for listening and watching, and uh, there will be further videos, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, Please look up the book online and I hope you read the story for yourself. Thank you very much.